during the 72 hour festival they had 33 million thai baht which is the equivalent of 1.1 million us dollars transacted on their network and i believe around 15000 transactions that cost them 70 cents uh, us dollars Hello everyone, this is Alexander from Gaines. Today I'm with Isaac from Fuse. How are you doing, Isaac? Hey, good to be here, Alexander. Thanks for having me. I'm really excited to learn more about Fuse. So can you tell us what it is? What's Fuse all about? So Fuse is a plug and play infrastructure for people who want to build micro economies, which might sound a little convoluted, complicated stuff right now, but it's pretty simple when you kind of break it down to the different people out there. And it's any person who wanted to build a product that required mobile payments and didn't have the resources to do it previously. And that can be in many different countries, languages, business use cases, or reasons for that. So maybe some of the easiest examples to kind of uh, eat are in Spain, we have a platform called Wikibank that was doing cash handouts instead of giving out 5,000 euros cash can now track the donations through the wallet uh, and figure out how things are going to flow in their ecosystem and where their money is going through the population. Another example in Thailand in late November, early December of last year, we had a music festival. There were over 1,500 attendees, zero point of sale, zero bot paid infrastructure. Everything was a mobile wallet fork that was used on the Fuse network. Um, it took them three weeks to put together with some support from the Fuse Foundation to kind of fix some bugs or questions or some extra features that they just like needed to get there. During the 72 hour festival, they had 33 million Thai baht, which is the equivalent of 1.1 million US dollars transacted on their network. And I believe around 15,000 transactions that cost them 70 cents uh, US dollars. Obviously, it won't stay that cheap forever, but um, that's the kind of you know scale and infrastructure that we can give to projects who normally would have to pay tens or hundreds of thousands of dollars to build that in-house. So we're quite excited about exploring and finding new partners in 2021 that are able to take advantage of kind of this uh, easy to use platform in order to make their business goals that they kind of thought were impossible to accomplish, very realistic all of a sudden. Awesome. That's really great to hear about a concrete use case because so many projects might have good tech, a good platform, but they struggle with getting clients, getting actual users. That's amazing to hear that these platforms can actually be used and that you managed to delete with Fuse and that you're looking for more. So congrats on that. Could you maybe show us the product, how it looks? Actually. The original infrastructure allowed you to mint assets on Ethereum and then move them over to Fuse in order to get access of all this out of the box features that we discussed earlier. The disadvantage of that is just like we were talking about, how do we get people to use this and understand this and really be able to interact with these things even though they don't have ETH and gas and understand everything in the same way the kind of everyday crypto user might. So we've basically done a full revamp of the studio, which allows you to basically mint assets on the Fuse chain, get all of this out of the box functionality, your plug and play mobile wallet, edit your different fiat onboarding RAM, and then launch this product. For the people who still want to interact with the Ethereum ecosystem, Fuse has placed an emphasis on having a working bridge, one-click bridge, so you can still, and it's also integrated to the studio, so we'll kind of uh, run through that now. So hopefully people can kind of uh, get a chance to see it in action. So this is our studio. This is where kind of usually people come in order to get to know the ecosystem, and it's a big kind of uh, lead generation tool, but it basically we can build semi real world products that can move from this MVP out to kind of implementation. So we'll make the gains token and we'll create a new token. The other option is to back it by an existing token on Fuse. 
which is kind of some of the stuff we talked about in our 2021 article roadmap. And you will have more features later on on kind of backing your tokens by different things. In the meantime, if we're creating a new token, you kind of have two options. Do you want a mintable burnable token where we can kind of US, this is literally the USDC contract, or do we want a one-time issue? Uh, so the GAT token will be a one-time issue because uh, we want to make it scarce. Only, you know, 1,000 people need to have 15 gains tokens in order to be part of our private trading group, right? So we'll uh, mint these 1,000 tokens. You'll see I can, um, I, I'm using MetaMask now, but we've also integrated Taurus. As you can see, we can kind of, uh, blocks still aren't quite full here, so we can one way super fast transactions. You can already see things are already moving here. And we've issued a currency on Fuse, so you can check out on the Explorer. This has already kind of been populated with all the data. Yeah, you can check it out. It also has the name, it's the GAT token, so you can kind of find it. And if you look for gains, uh, you can find your token in the Fuse Explorer already. Like that's pretty nice functionality for about 30 seconds. And we've been given 100 Fuse, congratulations. This only works once, so don't try to troll us and get mm. 100 of them. Um, you can kind of check out our different plugins. And again, the idea is to make it as kind of straightforward as possible for getting your everyday product that you might want to have. So what does that include? It, first of all, you're going to want a users list to know who's using your wallet, how many users you have, maybe to give them different administrative settings. Some of the other options, you can kind of see an overview of where we have the assets. Remember we said that there's a bridge to Ethereum, so you could move those over and you can kind of see an overview. And then in the plugin store, we have a bunch of different additional things that you can add, which we'll play with a little bit today. First, I think it's quite nice if you want to have your custom white labeled wallet, you can add, you know, 500 GAT tokens to the wallet. Again, one GUI transactions, even when that goes up, you know, it's a uh, negligible fees, basically 0.000077 fuse, pretty great. And we already have 500 in the funders balance, we can add a join bonus and a backup bonus, let's say you get 10 GAT tokens for joining and five for backing up your wallet can give you also two for inviting your friend and let people kind of earn from this balance. After this, we can also use a bridge or move tokens over to Ethereum if we want. Finally, we have a few swap. So if we want to create a value behind the gains token, then we have to create a place for people to interact with it. So we, with a kind of click of a button, we're already in Fuse Swap with the gains token. Uh, I think I added some, yeah, some USDC here. So we can put, we're the first person to provide liquidity, right? We're setting up a new asset that we just minted. We'll put 10 gains tokens with 10 US dollars. We'll be 100% of the pool. And basically, we're setting the price at $1 per one gains token. Here's the few swap analytics. Uh, so you can check out like what's happening. And it's quite fun. You know, we launched it maybe a month and a half, two months ago. You know, I think we had an average of somewhere between 20 cents and $10 a day. And then towards the beginning of the year, we started getting a couple hundred dollars a day. And now like, uh, you know, we're, we seem to be getting a couple thousand dollars a day and liquidity is slowly growing. You can see the top coins here. Some of these smaller ones don't have too much liquidity. So I guess with $10, you'd be in the top coins of the day. This is uh, changing quickly. Part of the kind of Fuse strategy is building lots of stuff for different partners. Like you can see in the studio, adding liquidity or doing this is one of the ways that a um, partner might want to use this specific product. A lot of them are using it in different ways. And that kind of comes to the next part of the studio, which is uh, the fiat onboard ramp, right? Many of them, like in the case of the festival, they actually acted as the custodian. So you give them US, they give uh, take Thai bot in cash or credit card, and then can mint the Mystic Valley tokens. As we mentioned earlier, all of this um, comes with kind of a white labeled wallet, we call it, which you can either fork or in the meantime, you can use the Fuse wallet. So if you go and download the Fuse wallet and you take a, like uh, you'd go to switch community 
and you scan this QR code, you can actually get the gains token, that GAT token that I talked about. You can earn the joining bonus, and you can go to FuseSwap, where we provided liquidity, and get USDC for it. You know, some of the other partnerships that we're kind of exploring, and maybe by the time this video comes out, will already be in place, is with projects called MintDate, which are also adding token protected pages, is what it's called. So you can only see the private gains trading group if you have more than 100 gains tokens, right? Uh, and again, all of these use cases and partnerships and tools are being requested by all the users around the world that are building on our platform. And we're just uh, you know, trying to keep up with all the different uh, new infrastructure opportunities that are kind of being requested by all these people. Uh, quite a unique place to be in. Uh, often we find ourselves in the crypto space building and hoping it will be used. And we have found that a lot of our you know, users are using things and now we're trying to kind of uh, catch up with uh, different things that can be the most useful and figuring out how to make sure that those tools remain open source and useful for the next 50 clients or partners or operators that are going to want to use the same infrastructure for similar projects or goals. That sounds great. And you know, the um, Telegram restricted groups with a certain amount of tokens is actually a pretty common use cases these days. So if you can have that on Fuse with a very nice dashboard, more functionality than on Ethereum, and you don't even have to issue on ERC20 smart contracts, no things, that's very cool. You know, the studio is a a lead generation tool. And I think as we grow through 2021 and in the future, we'll continue to see kind of a multi-chain ecosystem where people are using liquidity on different platforms for different things. And Fuse is continuing to kind of pioneer that in the payments ecosystem. Do you have more insight on what your plans are for 2021? Yeah, so we actually just pushed out a uh, roadmap in late uh, January that kind of summarized what we've done in 2020 and where we're going in 2021. What's important to keep in mind, and we highlighted in this article, Fuse is a startup, right? We're still growing and the whole blockchain space is a startup. And one of Fuse's advantages over some of these larger companies is our ability to move more quickly and effectively. So we really tried to outline where we're placing our energy now and in the next three to six months, uh, maybe there's you know more of an update about 12 months, but it's almost a disservice to your community to commit to what's gonna happen in the second half of the year in this space, right? Uh, we really want to be able to continue to stay agile and push forward the biggest changes. Uh, I think a great example of that is like uh, EIP-1559. Super cool idea about burning fees on Ethereum as blocks get full. Uh, and creating more token syncs on the network. Super hard to implement as your, you know, $25, $150 billion company. Uh, smaller companies with validators that have 48 hour cycles are able to really maneuver, grow, evolve very quickly in this space. Uh, one of the things I think uh, our head of marketing, uh, Robert, speaks about, and I think is a really great way of describing not just our small changes, but overall how we kind of grow is evolution, not revolution. It's not about scrapping everything and new, moving to something new. It's about every week or every two weeks or every month, you know, maybe taking a step back to do retrospective and figure out what's the most effective two to four weeks and how do we kind of uh, grow what we have, not how do we change our entire model for the next 12 months because you know we you know know the future necessarily is there anything else you'd like to talk about maybe tease us tell us some cool stories about fuse i think uh in 2021 we'll see a huge rise of uh, this use case across the globe and it doesn't matter how crazy you think your ideas are uh reach out to us let us introduce you to some other crazy people. Let us see if maybe we can solve it in a not so crazy way, because uh, the opportunities are really limitless for figuring out how to monetize ecosystems or economies that normally would have just cost unreasonable amounts in order to do so.
Uh, so please, you know, just get in touch with me or the Fuse team, and we'd love to engage with more people from all different stages. Awesome. Well, thanks, Isaac. Don't forget to drop a like on the video, subscribe, and write a comment. Tell us what you think about it. Download the wallet, try it out. I think the interface is pretty neat, easy to use. You can create a token in just a few seconds. That's actually pretty powerful. See you guys for the next one. Cheers. Thanks, Alexander. <laughs>